your guys with metal gear solid delta being so close but so far away we finally got hands on previews via ign and gamestop and stuff like that i haven't checked out any of them but i am gonna dive in and react to the ign one first then we're gonna skim through the other ones i'm using ign as a reference to get all the information and then peek through the eyes of the other ones with people who had hands on and see if there's any more details we can dig through and see and you know explore but let's jump in and react to this one again from IGN I'll have a link to this one in the description just in case you click this and try to get to the IGN one your code name for this mission will be naked snake naked. I'll be referring to you as snake from now on yep few games truly deserve the remake treatment as much as metal first off uh shout out to Matt and uh, Jesse worked on a video where I am reacting to it. I'm gonna Apple Gear the Solid 3 Snake Eater. Arguably the best stealth action game of its generation. Back in 2004, it pushed the yeah, PlayStation 2 yeah, to its very Yeah, limits, he's not wrong. So, much so he's that not the hardware wrong. occasionally weighed down its ambitions. 20 years later, a yep. complete remake from Konami using the power of modern consoles has the potential to unlock the full, uncompromised vision of the game's original creators. Instead, yep. this new kojima -less Metal Gear Solid Delta <laughs> seems more like a very shiny crazy. HD remaster than the elegant remake it could have been. It's an admittedly beautiful... That might not be a bad thing, though. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I love Kojima, and I would love to see, you know, another creator come in and, like, stir the pot with Metal Gear. It's kind of hard to say that with a remake. So, I understand their decision of, like, nah, we're going to just HD mass, like, hd fi this and keep it as close as possible as we physically can. Let's not touch the greatness of this game, because we are going to get shitted on if we do. It's like uh, you you do you 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 you're damn if you do and you're damned if you don't. There we go. That's what I meant to say. All right, come on, let's jump in. HD remaster than the elegant remake it could have been. It's an admittedly beautiful nostalgia trip, but almost faithful to a fault. Faithful to a fault. Okay. In a recent hands-on demonstration, I was beautiful. able to play oh through my Metal God, Gear Solid the Delta's looks Virtuous insane. Mission, a complete recreation of Snake Eater's prologue built oh, okay. in Unreal Engine 5. So they got to play it the whole every bit first as part of it, as you'd hope, first particularly part of the when game. it comes to character models. Faces yep. and clothing are a real highlight. The jungle is the okay. true star of the show, though, with modern lighting techniques helping showcase the graphical overhaul to every blade of grass, every pool of mud, and every writhing python. If you're a Metal That's Gear veteran, you'll yes. know that the roughly 90-minute duration of the Virtuous mission is yeah. dominated by cutscenes and codec calls. It's not the ideal section to test drive any changes Konami has made, visuals aside, <laughs> particularly since Delta uses the same dialogue audio as the original Snake Eater. And the come on, come on, Matt. What, what do you expect them to give you to play through the game? <laughs> like, obviously, they're gonna have to give you this thing. I'm just poking fun, but j like, yeah, you know, the, you know, they. they He's right. Matt is not wrong, though. No. He's not wrong. If you wanted to test everything, you probably would have gave like a middle slice of the game, but they're going to give you the pre. They're going to give you the, the intro build. Thus, all cinematics are frame for frame and line for line identical. Okay. Over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Okay. Approaching Soviet airspace. Listen up, Jack. That's not a bad thing that they kept everything together. In the Soviet mountains. Ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. But if this slice is anything to go by, any gameplay changes are minimal. Delta appears to be a painstaking recreation of Metal Gear Solid 3 down to the millimeter. Trees stand exactly where they originally stood. The same enemies oh patrol my God, the same routes. The mod, and bro. frustratingly frequent load screens once again divide the jungle uh -huh. into small, self-contained maps. Wait. This structure, perfectly preserved from the 2004 original, makes Metal Gear Solid Delta feel so much older than its new high-definition visuals. The jungle. Okay, I see. I see what his gripe is, and I promise I'm gonna stop. You know, stopping it. But I see what his gripe is. His gripe is that hey, like you could have easily made this a big seamless experience where you could go to one place to another. Having that loading screen, that you know, section sectioned off. That's so PS2. We didn't need that. We didn't need that in a remake. Is small and claustrophobic. 
not because of its imposing canopy, but because of its limited play spaces. The loading screens act as hard barriers, meaning what happens in one zone doesn't impact another. Alerted guards yeah. can't chase you into a different map, for instance. This lack of continuity between each segment limits your creativity. There's seemingly no way to cause distractions that fool enemies into investigating Ooh. beyond a loading screen boundary, or line up a perfect shot across the stitching between zones. Exactly. All of this, of course, was not just forgivable back in 2004, but expected. The PS2 yeah. simply couldn't render an entire seamless play right. space this detailed. Right. But in 2024, the freedom of Metal Gear Solid 5 sprawling maps, which would be perfectly at home retrofitted into Snake Eater's Soviet wilderness, is sorely missing here. Wait, why, why didn't they do that? Why didn't they just build it on that engine that they have for Metal Gear Solid 5? What? What? <laughs> Wait, what am I missing? Why? Why did they? Why did they go back and just work on? Unreal Engine 5, why didn't they just build it on the engine Kojima was using during that game? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Reminded of Capcom's Resident Evil 2 remake, which eliminated the original game's iconic door opening loading screens in favor of a right. more immersive, completely seamless police station. Right. Without a similar approach, I worry that the overall play experience of MGS Delta won't be significantly different enough from the Snake Eater HD remaster available as part of last year's Master Collection Volume 1, a game with a much lower price point and packaged with two other truly excellent games. After playing mm -hmm. the demo, I had the chance to talk with Delta's producer, Noriaki Okamura, and I asked why the team didn't opt to bring MGS3's map design up to date. We did debate Ooh. this internally, he told me. Maybe okay. we should reskin the game into the current open world type map. But hey, after thinking about this, should've. we would definitely have to basically remake the game from scratch, and by doing so, it could alter other things about the game, and we decided that that's not the direction we really wanted to take. That's a cop-out answer. That I don't care how that 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 was so worded worded perfectly. Cop out answer though. That was like, hey, we just didn't want to work and make it. <laughs> like literally, we just didn't want to make a game. We literally just wanted to reskin one. Oh. While the play space of the Virtuous Mission is exactly what you remember, Konami has made some smart changes that incontestably make Delta more comfortable to play than its parent. The most okay. important is a modernized control scheme that works in tandem with the over-the-shoulder aiming, a feature nice. pulled from the 3DS version of Metal Gear Solid 3. This okay. setup is practically revolutionary. The original Snake Eater used inputs that had their roots in the comparatively basic Metal Gear Solid 1, but the increasingly complex <laughs> and ambitious boss battles demanded a level of fine control that the scheme simply couldn't keep up with. Thankfully, the old fiddly aim mechanics are now gone, replaced with contemporary yes. trigger-based gun controls that allow for so that should be precise good. headshots. Yeah, There's should nothing be in the Virtuous Mission that really challenged my marksmanship, but I'm really looking forward to battling the Fury, a boss whose yes. speed and attack patterns were an uncomfortable fit for the original game's clunky controls. I am the Fury. I think to be to be fair, to be fair, that was the I think that was the point of the Fury was to like get you like to for it to be a tough boss battle i think all of the boss battles were like that in Metal Gear Solid 3 they were like hey you're good at this so now we're gonna put you in the woods and you're gonna be sniping you're good at this now we're gonna strip you from all your weapons and you're gonna just be walking you know what i'm saying dodging stuff i think all of the battles were like a test of like hey you're gonna you gotta learn something new or use a skill that you haven't or that 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 you may not be familiar with if you're not familiar with all of the skills. You know what I'm saying? And that would make fighting someone like the Fury hard if you weren't, you know, able to do all of the snake maneuvers and stuff like that. Other welcome enhancements are a quick dial system for your codec, allowing you to access vital functions like saving the game by tapping down on the D-pad. Okay. The up button opens a quick select for your camouflage. The two remaining D-pad buttons okay. cycle through your equipment, which is a minor but solid improvement over the original scheme. Yeah. More essential is the fact that Snake can now crouch walk, another feature first included in the 3DS version, Damn. which practically <laughs> feels like a necessity in a stealth. The, them showing that 3DS version, I'm like, what the fuck? Did they record it? with a cell phone to the 3DS, like, what? god damn, why it looks so bad? Version, which practically feels like a necessity in a stealth game. Combined with the refreshed aiming system and modern 3D camera, Snake Eater now plays much more intuitively. However, I will caveat that by saying it still does feel like a game from a prior generation. Snake course, unfortunately does not move with the fluidity of his MGS5 counterpart. Again, it feels like Konami has missed a clear opportunity to bring modern enhancements to MGS Delta. 
Provided okay. the entire game follows suit with this demo, I think your feelings on Delta are going to depend on just how faithful you want this remake to be. If you're right. a purist, then you're in luck. The new yep. MGS team at Konami clearly sees the original Snake Eater as something of a religious text but it means Delta's creative vision is held prisoner by the early 2000s. Even the cutscenes feature the same fade to black loading between scenes as the original. Surely something cinephile Kojima would have exercised if only he'd had access to SSDs back in the day. <laughs> Beyond the updated graphics and controls, there's nothing surprising, refreshing, or dare I say exciting about MGS Delta, at least in this demo. The only significant change we did find was that shooting Ocelot did not trigger the Time Paradox game over screen. Ah. Huh. So it didn't do that? Snake, what have you done? Change the future. You changed the time paradox. <laughs> It's not clear if this omission is simply because the demo is not pulled from the final version of the game. But such a famous Kojimaism being missing from the first press showing of yes. Delta did raise a concerned eyebrow. Hopefully it makes it into the full release. Hopefully, Okamura yes. told me that he wanted to avoid a situation where the series will be forgotten in time, and that the goal of Delta was to make sure we deliver the game as faithfully as possible so it doesn't take away from the nostalgic aspect. That's okay. a noble goal, but I can't help but feel that was the job of the Master Collection. I had hoped Delta would have seen the team Right. upgrade and enhance Snake Eater with ideas from the Phantom Pain and beyond, offering the same story and objectives, but in a more modern, more flexible, and more reactive stealth hunting ground. That could have made it the remake to topple Resident Evil 2 from its perch. Instead, no, Metal Gear Solid I don't Delta think is shaping up to be that. little more than a prettier, more intuitive version of 2004's most essential stealth game. Your codename for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. Clock Still a great two. game. Still a great game. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. For more Konami remakes, check out the right. preview of Silent Hill 2. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Shout out to Matt and um, Jesse again for working on this video. I think it was pretty cool. I, I, I agree with them. I agree with them. They should have went upward and beyond, especially because we got the collection where we can play Metal Gear Solid 3 on current gen. So we kind of didn't need a prettier look at Metal Gear Solid 3. I just think with everything that's going on with Konami and Kojima, you can't touch Metal Gear Solid 3 in a certain way without Kojima now. And then it's like you do if it's like, you know, you damn if you do and you damn if you don't situation where if they do it, and it's bad or it's wrong and people don't like it you just wasted years of development time of you know money of good faith down the drain and konami is a flush away <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i think they seen this as an opportunity to be like hey they seen the kajinko machines they want metal gear solid 3 at a level where it looks beautiful let's give it to them let's give them metal gear solid 3 and that's what this is this is just metal gear solid 3 and will it be terrible i don't think so i do i am questioning about the ocelot thing being missing because that means like what else it maybe is missing you know what i'm saying hopefully that's just again like what he said is just a demo build so that's all that was you know in the game and it wasn't just straight up like hey this is the part of the whole game hopefully that was just a dumbbell miss not mistake but just like it just missed that part and hopefully there's not more of that in the game where like they just completely missed that part hopefully they are watching this review and adding it shit <laughs> like if, if it is missing uh, make sure they bring all the konami isms into it okay so I'm, i think i think i'm fine with uh the review roundup here from ign um i'm gonna leave that right here let me know in your thoughts on the comment section below your thoughts on the Metal Gear solid delta snake either do you prefer it to be more of a what we're getting like straight up clear hd ps5 version of Metal Gear solid 3 or would you have prefer them go back and dug out a brand new version of Metal Gear solid 3 kind of in the vein of Metal Gear solid 5 with brand new open sprawling maps but in the same world of Metal Gear solid 3 let me know what you think 
and would have preferred in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I ain't all comments, so let's have that conversation about Delta down in the comments. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop them here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Daddy, gamer, Fred, the trash. You trash, Freddy? Your mama!